Uh, my first experience with the Massasauga was uh, in my early 20s. Uh, I was on a camping trip and uh, the animal just came out in front of us and just crossed the path. And uh, just, you know, knowing that it was there, knowing that it was a, a wild creature and it could do whatever it wanted to do, and yet it just chose to sit there quietly and then move on was pretty awesome. So the Massasauga is a rattlesnake. Um, it's actually a pygmy rattlesnake. So a lot of the big rattlesnakes that people see um, on TV or in the States are quite large, but the Massasauga is, is very small. Um, and they are similar to the other rattlesnakes, but they do have a rattle on the tail. They're kind of a fat bodied animal. Um, they have heat sensing pits on their face and they have kind of a very triangular head. So they look like all the other rattlesnakes, but they're just kind of like the mini version. Massasaugas are pretty shy and retiring. They would really like to just be left alone and to do their own thing. Um, a lot of us are taught from a very young age to basically fear snakes and especially venomous snakes and that the only good snake is a dead snake. Um, hopefully with some of the education we do through the zoo, we can change people's perception and uh, make snakes a little bit more well understood so that people don't have this automatic fear when they come across a snake. We are a kind of a, a intermediary between wildlife and people. We have wildlife in a captive situation. We have all these people coming, millions of people coming every year. So we're a great organization to kind of deliver it, those outreach messages to people who have an interest in wildlife. If we can um, you know, get the message across, and we can do that through the, through the uh, Massasauga Rattlesnake workshops that we host here at the Toronto Zoo. The workshop that we hold here at the zoo, the participants get to go through a PowerPoint presentation with us in which we teach them a bit about snake biology, range, habitat, habits, um, how you can learn to interact safely and live with these snakes, and how you can even help them survive um, through stewardship programs and, and other things you can do to protect Massasaugas as well as their habitat. Uh, what's really great is um, uh, Andrew Lentini is always um, uh, what we call tube the snake. You know, it's a safe way of handling a rattlesnake for either treatment or transporting it. Or, and then he can take the, the, the snake within this tube um, and actually touch. So they'll be able to go to a party that night or back to work Monday and say, I touched a rattlesnake in the weekend. Uh, that's really important. So that, that experience at the workshop at the zoo is, is just an amazing one. Come to a Toronto Zoo workshop. They're special. Um, you know, you, you'll go away full of information and a uh, shared experience with 20 other people that's very unique.